Hi there, and welcome to another video on the Bite Size channel. Today, I'll be giving you an introduction to the sidebar ops, which will allow us to create a user interface inside of the window view of cables. First of all, I'd like you to pause the video and just build what you see here. Okay, great, let's get started. So first of all, I'm gonna press escape and I'm gonna type in sidebar and press enter. I now get the sidebar up. I'm gonna click and drag out from child and I'm gonna make a slider up. As you can see, this belongs to the group ops.sidebar. Now we have a slider that's appeared here in the window and this has an output here. I'm gonna grab the output and I'm just gonna plug it into say rotation Y. Now, as I move this, you can see that shape is moving a little bit, but not very much because we're only outputting values of zero to one. Click the slider up. We have a name, so I'm gonna call it rotation Y. The name changes here. Input one, min max. So I want it to be able to rotate 180 degrees. So now I can make it turn like this. Step, if I would, for example, put in one, that would mean every part of the slider here would output whole numbers. There's no floating point, no decimal value. So let me put this back to 0 0.001. As you can see, I have a higher precision. So that's the basic of slider. Let's now make a new uh, op called the toggle. And toggle op, I'm then gonna plug into a bool anim. So I'll become clear in a moment. So bool anim needs to be uh, triggered. So I'm gonna plug that into here. I'm gonna get the toggle out and I'm gonna put that there. And now I'm gonna plug this into position X. And now when I click toggle, as you can see, our shape moves around. I can tweak the parameters here for bool anim, but that's something you can explore later. Another one is the button. So I'm gonna make a button element. And now I'm gonna plug this into a toggle bool. And then I'm gonna make another bool anim. Expects a trigger. I'm now going to plug this into the red. If I now click button, as you can see, I changed the color of the cube. It's a very simple example of what you can do with the interface, but these are the three basic things you'll need to get started. This is the introduction to the sidebar op series. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the uh, section below or on the forums. Thanks for your time. Bye.